when I started, I've only been working on interaction and services for the past couple of years. Before I was working on the hardware side, so I was working more on desktop design. However, my portfolio is pretty diverse because I've done a little bit of everything. Coming from architecture, I've done a little bit of graphic design, a little bit of, you know, store design. So the variety makes people think, I suppose, that you can adjust easily to different situations. And that's, I believe, one of the biggest strengths that designers can have. One of the strongest weapons a designer has is what we call transfer. Right, so you pick something in one field and you apply it into a different field. Whether we call it design or not, that way of thinking is what generates things. You know, it doesn't matter. Design existed before we created design schools. <laughs> it's it's the, the way our, our mind works. It's the way we create things. In a way, it's um, it's allowing yourself to make stupid observations because. It is, you know, most of the most of the constraints to our creativity come from this idea of compliance. You know, if you don't fit in a certain mold, you're doing things wrong. And creating is about being wrong. You know, you, you do you produce a lot of trash before you before you do the right thing. And that's really, you know, the child childish, I guess, element that makes it fun.